In this video, I'll show you how to create an adaptive question. Now, before I do that, let me show you a completed one, a quick preview of one here. So um, here's the question solving the following equation. I already have the correct answer typed out here. And notice that when I click on verify, I get it correct. If I were to grade this question, I would get full marks on the question. Now, going back, what happens if I get it wrong? Well, if I get it wrong, so I'll just leave a blank, click verify, it adapts to my incorrect response and walks me through the solution. So first it tells me, okay, here's the theorem that you should have used, and now find the first product. So the first product, in my opinion, you know, it's 5 times x, and du is 5 dx, and the second product was, you know, exponential function 2x, and um, click on verify, and notice I get some parts correct, some parts incorrect. So clearly, this walkthrough of the question as it adapts to my incorrect responses is helping me identify where I've made mistakes and where I can then find the correct answer. So how do you actually make this in our system? Well, it's quite easy. I'm going to show you uh, a completed question, the same one, and exactly what we did here. So what you have to do is when you author the question, you write out the entire thing, um, including you know the original question followed by the solution or whatever flow you want through the adaptive question. You have complete control of that. So you can make it actually a walkthrough question right off the bat. You can um, make it initial question and then walk them through that if they get it wrong initially. It's, it's up to you. So what you do though is you have to insert these things called adaptive sections. You put them below a response area or multiple response areas. And when you open one by double clicking it, notice that there are properties attached to it. And these apply again to the response area or areas above it. In this case, how many attempts on that response area, the passing score, the penalty for getting it incorrect, um, give them the option to skip it. And then what happens if they get a correct or incorrect? Is the question complete? Do you keep it displayed on the screen? Um, is it incorrect? And what happens then? Is it over? What's the waiting? Show the answer. I mean, you customize all these options. And what's great is you can answer these adaptive sections wherever you want. So here's my first one. And as you saw, and when I was testing it out, if I got it correct, the question was over and I got full marks. If it was incorrect, it stayed on the screen, but the question wasn't complete. So because I tailored this question to not be complete if I get it incorrect, I move on to the part below it, which shows me four more response errors. And then look, it stops right here at the next adaptive section, which shows me, okay, what happens exactly here? And below that then, what happens at this one? So this is really more um, to show you a completed version. If you want to learn the details of creating an adaptive section, be sure to check out the documentation which is available by clicking the help button in the top menu bar. And that's how you create an adaptive question.